soccer match. Maryville versus the host Brevard College on a clear Wednesday evening in Brevard, North Carolina. Mountains of Western North Carolina. Glad you're able to join us for this one. Should be a dandy USA South Conference play underway for these two teams. Brevard College with a record of one win, four losses, two draws, one, one, and two in the USA South. Maryville, very impressive record so far, seven and two overall and five and zero oh in the USA South Conference. And we are just about to get underway here. Goalkeepers Patrick Hall for the Tornadoes and Michael Manfred for the Maryville Scots. Giannachini, Tenhai, Lenhart, Dickerson, Compost, Montero, Swarty, Masukawa, Riddle, and Spencer, the starters in the field for the Tornadoes. As we are just about ready to get underway, and Maryville will open with the ball and playing it long up ahead to left winger Jace Burf Birchfield and Tornado is able to collect that and now Hall playing some keep away with the Maryville striker and now out of bounds a quick free throw for the Scots Just underway here at Isla Mel Family Field. An early whistle, uh, just simply for a throw in on the far side as Scott's put the ball in play and now it's throwing for the Tornadoes. Under the lights here at Isla Mel Family Field, great atmosphere. If you're nearby, come on over. If not, settle in and enjoy this broadcast. Maryville versus Brevard, NCAA Division Three men's soccer. Whistle there, and it's going to be a foul against Maryville, so a free kick for the Tornadoes. Played into the box. Spencer with a left-footed strike. Shot there by Adam Spencer. Great look there off the set piece. And the ball just a few feet wide of that post. So early opportunity for the Tornadoes. But now here comes Maryville on a counterattack. It's going to be a foul against the Tornadoes. Or check that, a foul against Maryville. So uh, another opportunity here for the Tornadoes in Maryville territory. Offsides is actually the call on a, it's like the far linesman might have had offsides. Maryville head coach protesting that call. Jackson Riddle sends that into the goal mouth. Throwing for the tornado. So far, tornado is doing a nice job keeping the ball on the attacking side of the field. Now a foul against Brevard. Free kick, Maryville deep in their own territory. They play the short ball. Now looking to switch fields across the defensive line of the Scots. Touch there by Aaron Rucker. Okay. 
Dickerson able to win that 50-50 ball in the air. Now Masukawa plays it forward. Dickerson again in the air. Ends up at the foot of a Scots defender who plays it forward. Dangerous opportunity here. Here's Birchville. Play back to Clift. Rucker switches fields. In the fifth minute of play here in the first half. And that'll remain in possession of the Scots. Throw in on the deep right wing. And it'll be a goal kick for the Tornadoes. So Tornadoes able to withstand that. Push by Maryville. Goal kick sails out of bounds. Certainly not ideal. Quick throw in for Maryville. And Tornado's able to force that out of bounds. So now a throw in for the Tornadoes. Nearly six minutes have been played in this match. The only shot so far, a shot by Adam Spencer of Brevard College. Slide tackle there by Alex Tenhai. Masukawa ended up with it, played it off to Dickerson. Here's Spencer bringing it down with the chest. Spencer tightly marked by the Scots. Here's Tenhai. Tenhai plays it forward. Masukawa with a great step there. Here's Tenhai. Eric Lenhart plays that forward. And then a foul against Maryville. This is going to be a very compelling opportunity for the Tornadoes. Just a few yards out of the penalty box area. And so tornadoes lining up here. Masukawa, who scored on a free kick this past weekend in similar area, blasts that into the wall. Second chance opportunity, nobody home for the Tornadoes. Riddle tried to get a foot on it, but it'll be a corner kick for the Tornadoes. So Tornadoes certainly applying some pressure on the Scots early on here. Jao Montero. With the corner and that's headed out. Montero again with another corner kick. They play a short ball, then it's collected by the goalkeeper, Michael Manfred. So Tornado certainly applying some pressure on Maryville, who is undefeated in the USA South Conference. And Tornado's thus far very much in control of this match. But we are early. It's got 36 minutes to play here in this first half. Nine minutes have elapsed. 
two shots thus far by the Tornadoes. Maryville yes, yet to get a shot off. Dickerson with the throw in along the far left wing. Crowd wanted a handball there against Maryville. Ball will continue to be in the possession of the Tornadoes. Giannaccini giving chase there for the Tornadoes on, up top. Now Masukawa battling. Giannaccini with a beautiful step there. Here's Dickerson and then a foul by Maryville, a very hard foul. And the clock stops, and we may get a booking of some sort here after that hard foul. And yes, indeed, a yellow card against the Scots. Yellow card against... Maryville's Johnny Rachman Burdiev and another free kick for the Tornadoes. Now a foul on Brevard, so coming back the other way, but very early on here, but the Tornadoes have served notice that this is going to be a very competitive match uh, despite the records of the two teams going in. Here's Masukawa. Now a counterattack opportunity for Maryville. Patrick Hall way out of the box, able to clear it away. Maryville again on the attack. Slight tackle there by Tenhai, then a late whistle. It's going to be a foul against Tenhai and a yellow card against Alex Tenhai, and it's going to all result when it's all sorted out here in a opportunity for Maryville on a set piece and. Tornadoes, led by Patrick Hall in the, in the goal, getting organized defensively now. Four-man wall for the Tornadoes. Patrick Hall, goalkeeper for the Tornadoes, just behind it. And going for the left post, upper left corner with that attempt, the ball sails high and wide, so Tornadoes able to dodge a bullet there. And back to action here as Patrick Hall plays it forward on the goal kick. Tornadoes turn the ball over there in dangerous territory. Third 
32 minutes, 30 seconds left to play here in this opening half. Each team with two shots. Each team with set piece opportunities deep in the other's territory. As early goings here, looks like a very even matchup between these two squads. Ten High brings it down. Here come the Tornadoes on the counterattack now. Xiao Montero. Ten High playing it forward. JP Swarty. Adam Spencer. And now Masakawa able to take it away. Hall has no choice but just to send it forward and actually a remarkable play as Dickerson then brings it down. And a foul there. Montero controlling the ball nicely. Now looking to play it quickly after the Maryville foul. Now slowing it back down. Montero thought about perhaps playing that quickly and then said, okay, maybe slow this down. Regroup the Tornado offense. Now Montero plays it forward into that goal mouth area. Compelling opportunity there for the Tornadoes. Manfred able to collect it in and then he boots it away, completely flips the field. I mean, this punt traveling about 95 yards and then into the hands of Patrick Hall. Paul returns the favor with a boot of his own. 50-50 ball, one by Maryville. Now a turn by Fernandez. Chris Fernandez, midfielder from Maryville, Tennessee. Senior for the Scots. Meanwhile, here's Aaron Rucker, another senior. He's from Athens, Tennessee. Houlihan, freshman from Maryville, playing it forward. Now under 30 minutes left here in this opening half. That, that ball sails wide, and Patrick Hall yet again will set it up for a goal kick. Happy you can join us here on this gorgeous night, early October in the western North Carolina mountains, under the lights at Ives Lamel Family Field. A warning there by the uh, referee as the Maryville player cheated a little <laughs> into the box there. You don't see that too often on a goal kick. Um, but certainly referee doing a nice job enforcing that rule. So another opportunity for the Tornadoes. But once again, Maryville wins a 50-50 ball, and here they come on the attack. That ball sails out of bounds. And looks like it's going to be a corner kick for Maryville. Tornadoes marking man to man on this corner kick. Ball's bouncing in the penalty box area. Now played out. Montero. <laughs> Nicely done there by Montero on that tackle. Ball off a Scott and now a Throw in by Tenhai. He he plays it forward. Swarty trying to flick on to his fellow striker. Now a dangerous situation there. Dickerson giving chase. Hall taking control of the situation from the goalkeeper position. 27 minutes, 30 seconds left to play now. 
opening half. Maryville and Brevard scoreless. Here's Houlihan of the Scots. Plays it back conservatively to Rucker. Rucker switch field, sending it to the right midfielder. Beautiful ball there and brought down nicely by the Maryville. Swarty defending there, and then Hall having to dive out. Much too dangerous, too close for comfort there. As Hall able to collect it. You hate for it to get to that if you're the Brevard College defense. Nice job by goalkeeper Patrick Hall. Senior from Pikeville, North Carolina, Wayne Country Day School. Such an integral part of this Tornado men's soccer team. Twenty-five minutes, thirty seconds to play here in this first half. Tornadoes with a couple big opportunities early. Feels like the last few minutes have been controlled a little more by Maryville. Now throwing deep along the right wing. Great play there by Swarty. Swarty continuing on the attack. Just looking for compost there. able to collect it yet again. 24 minutes, 10 seconds to play here in this opening half. <laughs> Ten high brings it down. Spencer now. Scott's defenders converging, and then a foul there on Spencer. Aaron Rucker, the culprit. And it'll be another free kick for the Tornadoes. Jao Montero. Montero plays it forward into the goal mouth area. And an offsides call far on the right wing. The linesman with the offsides call. It'll be a free kick for Maryville. Free kick for the Tornadoes. Oh, 
Jackson Riddle will do the honors. Big right foot. Maryville able to keep that in bounds after winning that 50-50 ball. Then a great tackle there by Montero. Here come the Tornadoes on the attack. Twenty-two minutes left to play. Masukawa with a rip. Just high of the crossbar. And a substitution now for the Tornadoes as Riddle heads to the sideline. So as Jackson Riddle heads to the sidelines, Mauer Joena into the match. Riddle getting some assistance from the athletic trainer. And Mauer Joena, the junior from Ecuador, has entered this match. Tornado's a very international roster. Representation from Brazil, Algeria, England, Uruguay, Ecuador, Dominican Republic. Here's Montero playing it forward. Campos. Montero trying the long ball to Campos, but collected by the goalkeeper of Maryville, Michael Manfred. Twenty minutes remaining here in this opening half. Sun has set here at Isla Mile Family Field, a gorgeous sunset over the Blue Ridge Mountains. Battle in the penalty box area there. Finally it blasted out. It looked like Lenhart in the middle of all that for the Tornadoes. Nineteen minutes, twenty seconds left. We're still scoreless here. Tornadoes and Scots. Chris Fernandez plays it forward to Ryan Clift. Maryville happy to keep possession here as they play it back to their defensive line. Here's Rucker. Rucker plays it forward. Good looking ball there finding Clift. Clift now on the attack up the left wing. Here's Fernandez. Clift again, plays it forward. Birchville, a dangerous opportunity there once again for the Tornadoes. Patrick Hall adamant to his defenders that they have to mark tighter than that. Certainly could have resulted in the first goal of this game, a opening there for Maryville, but unable to convert. But meanwhile, Maryville corner kick That's played forward, but out of bounds. Maryville will have a throw in far right side. Go, 
17 minutes, 20 seconds to play. Under 17 minutes to play now, opening half. Pedro Herrera enters the match. He gives JT Swarty a breather. Herrera, freshman from Uruguay. Now another sub for the Tornadoes. Meanwhile, a substitution for Maryville, Austin Vineyard, freshman from Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Oak Ridge High School. Check that out. Junior from Oak Ridge has checked into the match. And another sub coming. Luca Silvani entering the match for the Tornadoes. So multiple substitutions, both sides here with 14 minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the opening half. Maryville with five Scots Shots, tornadoes with three thus far. Tornadoes really controlled things in the first 10 minutes or so of this match. Maryville then came with a flurry, and now here come the tornadoes on the attack. Wow, what a rip there. Saved by the Maryville goalkeeper, Manfred. An absolute rip by Pedro Herrera. And now a corner kick for the Tornadoes. Maybe the best opportunity so far for either team. And a goal for the Tornadoes. Tornadoes with the go-ahead goal. Goal by Mateos Masukawa. Mateos Masukawa with the go ahead goal. Masukawa?
So go ahead, go on by Mateos Masukawa. Gives the Tornadoes a 1-0 lead and completely changes the dynamic of this match here. 12 minutes, 40 seconds left to play. Rami Kondri entering the match for the Tornadoes. Now 11 minutes, 45 seconds left to play here in this opening half. Mateos Masukawa, who had a goal over the weekend as well with the go-ahead goal here against Maryville. And now some more pressure from by the Tornadoes offensively. Conjury, some fresh legs. Eleven minutes, five seconds left to play in this opening half. Now just over 10 minutes to play in this opening half. Tornadoes with the 1-0 lead. Now eight minutes, 30 seconds left to play. <laughs> and another goal for the Tornadoes. 2-0 now the lead.
So a goal for Herrera, but then a red card, it looks like, against Brevard. So Brevard is going to have to play a man down here. Still sorting all this out, but a goal by Pedro Herrera, 2-0 lead for the Tornadoes. But somewhere after the goal, a red card issued against the Tornadoes. We'll try to get some details for you here. And now the Tornadoes up 2-0, but playing a man down after the red card. Seven minutes, 35 seconds left to play. Pedro Herrera, that freshman from Uruguay, Montevideo, Uruguay, with the goal. And a red card was indeed issued against Alex Tenhai. Some sort of infraction after that goal. I'm not sure if it was celebration related. But bottom line is... A goal for the Tornadoes, now up 2-0, but the Tornadoes will have to play the rest of this match down a man. Six minutes, 23 seconds left to play here in this opening half. Tornadoes with a 2-0 lead. Goal by Herrera. Assisted by Masakawa and Dickerson. And a goal earlier, which was the go-ahead goal by Masakawa. Assisted by Montero. Now under six minutes to play here in this opening half. Five minutes, five seconds left to play. Four minutes, 30 seconds left to play. Maryville up a man after red card by the Tornadoes. Great save there by Hall. Last minute, last second reaction by Patrick Hall. Continuing to preserve the shutout by the Tornadoes. Maryville. with a substitution ready to go in a foul there against Maryville. So it'll be a free kick for the Tornadoes. Down a man, but certainly we'll have an opportunity here, kind of just what the doctor ordered. Clock continues to run. Now three minutes, 40 seconds left to play here in the second half. Maryville getting the goal organized, the wall organized.
shot there. Interesting look there. Herrera with the rip. Now under three minutes to play in this opening half. It's been an exciting one so far here at Islamal Family Field. Tornado's up 2-0. Two minutes, 35 seconds left. See if the Tornadoes can get to the intermission. Now down a man. Trying to preserve this shutout and preserve this two goal lead. Blasted out there. Well done by the Tornado defense. Manfred will regroup the attack for Maryville. Nice pressure there by Rami Kondry. Freshman from Algeria. One minute, 50 seconds left here in this opening half. And once again, the Tornadoes clear it out. Inching closer to that intermission. One minute, 35 seconds left. Now 90 seconds until intermission. Here comes Maryville on the attack. Well tackled there. 115 left. Now 70 seconds remaining. So Patrick Hall collects the soccer ball with less than one minute remaining. And he will take his time down a man. And Tornadoes with the 2-0 lead trying to get to intermission. Where they will regroup and have to play the rest of this match down a man, but up 2-0. Another opportunity there. Got to love that down a man offensive opportunity still coming up and then cleared out again by that tornado defense So Tornado is able to withstand that last attack by Maryville and hold on to that 2-0 lead here at the half. Brevard 2, Maryville 0. Two zero, your score at the half. Ives Lamel Family Field. Brevard and Maryville in an exciting one. Goal in the 32nd minute by Mateos Masukawa, assisted by Zhao Montero. And then in the 37th minute, a goal by Pedro Herrera, assisted by Masukawa. 2 0, the score. A red card then issued against the Tornado. So the Tornado is now down a man and uh, able to get through that final. 31 minutes down a man and preserve that shutout. 2-0 your score. Brevard on top of Maryville in USA South Conference action here at Ives Lamel Family Field.
moments away from kickoff of the second half here. Maryville versus Brevard. Two goals for the Tornadoes in that first half. Mateos Masukawa and Pedro Herrera. Following the Herrera goal, a red card against the Tornadoes. And Tornadoes able to get through that final nine minutes or so down a man. Now have to do the same thing in the second half, playing down a man, got to get through the final 45 minutes here, but a two-goal cushion, making for a very compelling second half. The fans here at Eyes Lamel Family Field will be treated to and appreciate you joining us wherever you may be tuning in from throughout the world. So ready to get started here. The Tornadoes down a man, up to zero. And Tornadoes will start things off. Moving from right to left on your screen. Tornadoes in white with the blue shorts and the blue numbers. Maryville in the maroon with the black numbers. Here's Marquise Dickerson. Try to play it forward there. For Herrera, who scored that second goal of the first half for the Tornadoes. Montero plays it forward. Now Maryville with possession. 44 minutes to play here. Can the Tornadoes hold on with a 2-0 lead, but down a man? Shot there by Maryville. Half volley blasted over the crossbar. Out of play. Shot number six. for Maryville. Tornadoes with eight shots. Tornadoes with three shots on goal and the two goals. Maryville yet to have a shot on goal. Patrick Hall has been active from time to time, but yet to record a save. Two minutes have elapsed here in the second half and Tornadoes remain with the lead 2-0. Free kick for the Tornadoes. And now the referee, as he stops the clock, 
with 42 minutes, 44 seconds to play, sorting all this out. A lot of confusion there. Who was going to have the free kick? And it's going to be Maryville after all that. Played into the goal area, headed out by the Tornadoes. And a foul there in a stoppage of the clock in a yellow card issued against Brevard. Tornadoes have to play it smart. The last thing you want to do is go down two men already playing with just 10 on their side. Here comes Maryville on the attack. Great save there by Patrick Hall. Rowing deep in Brevard territory here for Maryville. Long throw in into the goal mouth. Headed out by the Tornadoes. Looked like Dickerson getting a head on it. And then collected by Patrick Hall. 41 minutes to play here in this second half. Hearing some instructions from Coach L. Dana instructing goalkeeper Patrick Hall to slow things down and play it on the ground versus punting the ball. Perhaps the thinking is for the Tornadoes to create some possession, maintain possession, two clock. Major League Baseball wild card game getting started. Tampa Bay and Oakland. A lot going on in the world of sports, of course, but right here at Eyes Lamel Family Field, Brevard 2, Maryville 0. About five minutes have been played here in this second half. Beautiful step there by the center back of the Scots. And a foul on the Tornado, so it'll be Scott's ball deep in their own territory. Scott's building up their attack through the midfield. Here comes Fernandez. He plays it forward to Metinen. Corner kick now for the Scots. Bending into that dangerous part of the goal mouth area. Here comes Herrera on the counter. Herrera on the attack. Rockman Birdivin. And then what a move there by Masukawa, who is then fouled 
And it's going to be a yellow card. So it's going to be a free kick for the Tornadoes after that hard foul and yellow card. And a goal there for the Tornadoes. A brilliant goal on the free kick. The Tornadoes now up 3-0. goal there in the Tornadoes just like that up 3-0 down a man Eric Lenhart with the finish free kick was bent into that goal mouth and Lenhart with the opening and the header Eric Lenhart with the finish. And just like that, the Tornadoes with the 3 0 lead. So a bit of a hold up here. The rule is if a player gets a red card, he is not allowed to be in the stadium in any form. You know, typically we'll go to a locker room, perhaps a bus if you're the visiting team. And apparently there was a complaint that Alex Tenhai, who had committed a red card earlier and been ejected from this game, was on property. But, um, you know... It's, looks like a real team effort to make sure that's not the case, and indeed we're back at action here. Meanwhile, the Tornadoes with a 3-0 lead. Just to give you some context, Maryville opened this match 5-0 in USA South Conference play. Tornadoes 1-1-2. As a shot there ripped, but out of bounds, well off target. 37 minutes, 20 seconds left.
So now a clock issue. Clock now stopped at 36.41. We've seen it all tonight. Bottom line, however, <laughs> Brevard 3, Maryville 0, 36 minutes, 40 seconds. Maryville undefeated in the USA South. And perhaps, you know, you can see some of the frustration as another yellow card looks like it was issued there against a Tornado player. So this match has seen a little of everything. So after mass confusion and a stoppage of several minutes, looks like we finally have this sort of out, sorted out. A yellow card issued against the Tornadoes, Luca Silvani checking into the match. Thirty six minutes, twenty five seconds to play. Lenhart clears that out of bounds. Lenhart scored the third goal of this game on just a gorgeous header. Put the Tornadoes ahead 3-0. Cleared out by Dickerson. So a free kick now for Maryville. Maryville sends it into the goal mouth. Tornado's really packing in the defenders there in the 
penalty box, up 3-0, down a man. Corner flag <laughs> was knocked down and nice service there by one of the tornado defenders to put it back up. Nicholas Mahanini entering the match for the Tornadoes, the Brazilian. And the Tornadoes able to withstand these counter punches by the Scots. Holding on to this 3-0 lead. Now 31 minutes, 40 seconds left. Adam Spencer, Lucas Campos warming up for the Tornadoes, ready to get going. Shot there on the half volley, sails wide. So Campos and Spencer head in. Masukawa and Montero well-deserved breather. 30 minutes, 50 seconds left to play. Here at Ives Lamel Family Field. Tornadoes, doing a tremendous job tonight, not only with the three goals, but now we're at roughly about 25 minutes where the Tornadoes have been playing down a man And the Tornadoes have continued to preserve this shutout. Flag is up from the far right wing linesman. Offsides the call. So the Mary, Maryville attack 
thwarted yes, yet again, this time by all sides as the call and Tornadoes will send it back in play. Under 30 minutes left to play in this second half. Tornadoes with two goals in the first half and one in the second. <laughs> Tornadoes got on the board back in the 32nd minute of this match. Mateos Masukawa, assist by Zhao Montero. And then five minutes later, Pedro Herrera with a goal, assist by Masukawa. At that point, a red card against the Tornadoes. Tornadoes down a man for the remainder of that first half. And then in the 52nd minute, Six minutes, 45 seconds into the second half. A goal by Eric Lenhart. Assist by Montero. Put the Tornadoes up 3-0. Maryville out shooting the Tornadoes 10-9. Both teams have had three corner kicks. Maryville has been caught off sides three times. Felipe Andrade in during the match. So more fresh legs for Coach Aldana's squad. Another one of the Brazilian players on this Tornado team. Number 21. The freshman Felipe Andrade. 27 minutes, 30 seconds left in regulation. Teos Masukawa just with a tremendous game. A goal, an assist, four shots. Game winning goal, which was that first goal as we stand at the moment. Some real battling there. Matthew Brethen of the Tornadoes and Look like Fernandez of Maryville. Now Doherty getting ready with the free kick. Doherty. Sends it into the goal mouth. Patrick Hall goes way upstairs to bring down that cross. And then Hall gives it a ride. Spencer on the attack. Spencer with a move down the right wing. And it's going to be a corner kick opportunity for the Tornadoes.
Jamison Elmore enters the match for the Scots, junior out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Maryville, of course, in Tennessee. Not too far out of Knoxville, not too far really from here at Brevard. Many ways a natural geographical rival. And we could be seeing something, at least on the men's soccer side, a budding rivalry between these two. Now, worth mentioning, these same two schools will be playing on the football field on Saturday, 3 p.m., the homecoming game at Brevard Memorial Stadium. So after a, an intense go at it here, as Hall punches that out brilliantly on that corner kick, possession regained by Maryville, and then is blasted out of bounds. So the same two schools will go at it on the football field on Saturday. And the question was asked on social media not too long ago, who is Brevard's rival within the USA South and NCAA Division Three, And perhaps a budding rivalry here between these two schools. Of course, Brevard new to the USA South and starting early on in those rivalries. But certainly you can make an argument for these two schools having a lot in common in terms of geography and battle today on the soccer field. 3-0, Tornadoes with the lead. Maryville entering this match undefeated in USA South Conference play, but down 3-0 to the Tornadoes. Now 23 minutes, 15 seconds left. And another tremendous stop by who else? Senior Patrick Hall. As that shutout continues to be preserved, even though the Tornadoes are down a man. Just really a remarkable performance tonight by Brevard College. Now, it's worth mentioning also, in the regular season, the Tornadoes started the season with seven straight road matches as here's an opportunity for the Tornadoes on the counterattack down a man Spencer trying to find Brethen so the Tornadoes started the season with seven straight road matches and the reason for that the original home opener against Covenant was ruled a no contest due to lightning and it was as if the game never happened so therefore the entire month of sub September, even going all the way back to August 31st when the regular season began, all road games for the Tornadoes. For all practical purposes, this is the home opener. And what a home opener it has been thus far. Tornadoes 3-0 on top of Maryville. Now under 22 minutes to play here in this second half. Free kick for the Tornadoes. They'll certainly take their time. Eric Lenhart. Marquise Dickerson sizing things up. Lenhart sends it towards the 18-yard line. Now Maryville attempting a, a counterattack. Well done there by Felipe Andrade, those fresh legs of the Tornadoes. Oh, what a step there. Crowd absolutely going nuts on that side after that move by the Tornado. Here comes Maryville on the attack. Hall able to collect it. And the Tornado's now under 21 minutes to play.
incredible saves there by Patrick Hall, just diving to the left, to the right, punching it out. He collects it yet again, and the Tornadoes down a man continue to preserve this shutout. A 3-0 advantage over Maryville. Make it 4-0 after that strike and score. Tornadoes with the goal. Four zero now the lead for the Tornadoes and the NATO Nation just erupts after Luca Silvani puts away that one. Goal number four for the Tornadoes up four zero. Two of those four goals have come a man down. More sensational saves by the Tornado defense and Patrick Hall and Patrick Hall with a diving save to preserve this shutout. 4-0. Crowd going nuts. Just point blank range and Hall comes up with another save. Tornadoes leading 4-0. With two goals, a man down. Cleared out there by the tornado defense, so the shutout is preserved. Long throw in here from Maryville into the hands of who else? Patrick Hall. 4 0 your score as NATO Nation. Absolutely thrilled with this result. Clock stops at 
another stoppage as another warning there by the referees. 15 minutes, 50 seconds left to play as once again Patrick Hall with the stop and Tornadoes continue to lead this match 4-0. Played the entire second half and about nine minutes of the first half, a man down and not a problem for the Tornadoes who producing a very impressive result. Look at the stats. Maryville, 17 shots to Brevard's 11. Patrick Hall with six saves on. Those 17 shots by Maryville. Tornadoes have scored on four of their five shots on goal. Game has seen a lot of whistles. 18 fouls between the two teams, six yellow cards and a red card. Hall collects that threat by Maryville and regroups his side. Looks like another substitution getting ready for the Tornadoes. 13 minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the second half. Scott Douglas getting ready to check in for the Tornadoes, the freshman from London, England. Now under 13 minutes to play. Long throw in by Maryville. See if the Tornadoes can continue to preserve this shutout have now withstood 19 shots by the Scots. Rigotti of Maryville. Headed out by the Tornadoes. It'll be a corner kick, however, for the Maryville Scots. Scott Douglas enters the match. Freshman forward from London, England. Stratford Academy. As we mentioned, a very international squad, these Tornadoes, as Adam Spencer on the counterattack. Spencer with the shot. Just wide there. There was a goalkeeper change for Maryville, by the way. Number zero, Luke 
Seaman from Knoxville now in the match. And a corner kick now for the Tornadoes. Looks like Jao Montero doing the honors. Montero sends that in front of the goal mouth. Nobody home, however. David Garrett enters the match for the Brevard College Tornadoes, the sophomore out of Greenville, South Carolina. Now under 10 minutes to play, Tornadoes with a four goal lead. Corner kick for Maryville. And another goal for the Brevard College Tornadoes. 5 nothing. now your score. Adam Spencer <laughs> makes it 5-0. And he'll get a well-deserved breather. So Spencer heads to the bench after putting the Tornadoes up 5-0. Tornadoes won over the weekend, 2-1 in overtime at LaGrange. and looking to keep that win streak going here and, and well in control. Can't emphasize enough how remarkable this is. 5-0 the score, that alone is remarkable when you consider the records of these two teams heading into this match. But making it even more remarkable is that three of the five goals by the Tornadoes have come with a man down, playing with 10 men after a red card back in the first half. Clock stops with seven minutes, 57 seconds. Evan Ernst checks into the match for the Tornadoes. Now seven minutes, 40 seconds left to play.
Entering the match for your Tornadoes, number 16, Eric Hernandez. Eric Hernandez entering the match for the Tornadoes. Now seven minutes left to play. In a night that followers of Brevard College Tornado Athletics will not forget just a remarkable result we are heading towards here. Brevard 5, Meredith 0, Maryville 0. with six minutes, 30 seconds to play here in the second half. Maryville still looking to get on the board. Patrick Hall has been sensational. Maryville's now up to 20 shots but still has not found the back of the net. Jose Sanchez into the match now, so Tornadoes getting a lot of participation throughout their, their roster. 5.20 to go, a 5-0 lead here at Isla Mal Family Field. Goals by Masukawa, Herrera, Lenhart, Silvani, and Spencer. The Lenhart, Silvani, and Spencer goals all coming a man down. Now under five minutes to play. Aryville with a 5-0 and o start to USA South Conference play as another chance there for the Tornadoes. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in regulation. Tornadoes four minutes away from one of the bigger wins in recent memory for Brevard College men's soccer. Corner kick now, played out of bounds. Well, Tristan Wallace enters the match. Three minutes, 50 seconds left to play. Another corner kick opportunity for the Tornadoes. Sixth corner kick of the match for the Tornadoes. Seven for Maryville. So we're now down to three minutes, 30 seconds left to play. Tornadoes well in control. The 5-0 lead. minutes 30 seconds left to play
Now under two minutes to play. Clock stops at one minute, 40 seconds left. So Felipe Lisboa enters the match. 140 left here at Islamal Family Field. Tornadoes well in control, 5-0. Under one minute to play here at Islamal Family Field and Tornadoes with a big 5-0 advantage.
not in it, right? No, 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 but hey, we're not ready yet. No, I know that. I was just saying. When you're ready. Oh, yeah, you won't be in it. Okay, if you can stick with us here, we're going to have a live post-game interview with two of the stars of today's big win for Brevard College men's soccer. Just a tremendous win for the Tornadoes. Joined now by two of the big stars of tonight's big win, goalkeeper Patrick Hall, Jao Montero. Great job, guys. 5-0 win over a very formidable Maryville team. I mean, I mean, in, in my tenure here, biggest men's soccer victory I've, I've witnessed. So, yeah, fantastic. We'll start with you, Patrick. Um, preserving the shutout throughout these 90 minutes and – the whole second half and probably about nine minutes of that first half, a man down. We went down a man and I just have to credit my defense. My defense played great in front of me. Even at the end whenever we brought in the players that didn't really, don't really play that much, they still worked, worked so hard to help preserve this, uh, this 5-0 win. It's big. I still can't believe it right now. Yeah, and, and uh, Jean Montero, two assists on the night. Uh, great job with that, but certainly a, a team effort, and you guys uh, got it done. Yeah, and, and, and Patrick, if you can talk a little about just the, the defensive effort, you know, not, you know, obviously a shutout, you're a big part of that, but you can't do it without the defense. And, and Maryville was uh, coming time and time again uh, with the Tornadoes and man down uh, much of the match. Um, can you talk about your defense a bit? In Zhao, one of the challenges this season has been the Tornado offense finding the back of the net. You know, a lot of games that you guys have been knocking on the door, a lot of shots on goal, hitting the crossbar, hitting the post, but tonight, five goals. Uh, you know, you found the back of the net. Can you talk about offensively how you guys finished tonight? Happening. I don't know what else to say. Guys, 
we're going to do this over again. <laughs> the reason why, our viewers at home did not have a chance to just hear from y'all. <laughs> But the audio difficulties here, now you know, we haven't done too many of these live post-game interviews on our, you know, mm -hmm. new broadcast network here, but we're going to do it all over no, again because fine. we want the NATO nation to hear sure, you guys. Yes. Nice little dress rehearsal yeah, we just exactly. had there, but let's do it for real now. Sure. All right, guys. Patrick Hall, Jao Montero, congratulations. A big 5-0 win tonight over Maryville, mm -hmm. one of the biggest wins in Brevard yeah, College men's fine. soccer history, um, at least certainly of recent memory. Mm -hmm. Patrick, let's start with you, the shutout. 5-0, how'd you get it done? Yeah, first shot out of the season, just staying as you, you know, thank, thankful for my defense. Jeez, thank you so much for that back four. Everybody that partake, partook in that just did an amazing job and had my back, I had their back, and we're just a unit, thankfully. And Zhao, two assists, uh, great job on that. Thank Can you, you. think back of those two goals that you did assist on and what happened in those two goals? So it was two, uh, so how do you say it was a corner and a free kick? Yep. So I was very happy to hit the ball <laughs> where I should hit, <laughs> and our defense and Mateus and the midfielder did great job attacking the ball. It was what we do every day. It was what we do every practice. It was hard work paying off, definitely. Yeah, and uh, Patrick, if you can comment on the ability of this team to preserve a shutout shorthanded. Yeah. You know, uh, the full second half plus nine minutes of the first half shorthanded but able to preserve that shutout. Yeah, definitely. At uh, halftime after we lost, uh, we went a man down. Coach changed the formation, so we had four in the back still, and then we still had a steady defensive midfielder that helped us out, and we are always talking, always keeping that um, that togetherness, and uh, that helped preserve it so much, and just talking and keeping it as a unit. Yeah, in Zhao, uh, all season long, it's been tough to find the back of the net. Yes. You've been hitting the post. You've been hitting mm -hmm. the crossbar. You've got so many close calls. Um, ends up in these tie scores and mm -hmm. games going to overnight time. Tonight, though, five goals, finding the back of the net. What's it take to finish like that? Well, I believe that we were struggling until now to get the chemistry of this team. So as we won last game, the first official win of the season, we were much more comfortable this game. We were confident mostly and when the first when the first goal happened, the other four was much easier because it's what we have been doing, what we have been putting our hundred percent effort every day. And it happened because it should have been happening for a long time. Tremendous. Well I'll let you all celebrate with your teammates. Sure. Congratulations you. on a big Thank win. You so much. Five zero over Maryville. Thank nice you. job guys. Thank you. All right, Jao Montero and Patrick Hall. Let's let's see if we can get coach now. No, l just let it be for a second, okay? Can we move that one down there? So, oh, you can switch batteries. Go ahead and switch. You're you're not on the air. You can let a couple more minutes. Grab that camera. See what I mean? I'll switch. I got I got this.
joined now by head coach L. Dana. Coach Dana, congratulations on a big 5-0 win over Maryville. Uh, had to be gratifying to get this uh, sort of result tonight. Yeah, we uh, whoops, <laughs> we uh, had a few talks already, and, and I've said, I think I actually said exactly that, that one of these days we're going to finish well. Remember that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so today was the day, and and because um, we've been creating, you know, and, and uh, we've been missing some easy goals, but today they were not easy. They were really well well um, executed, and Ah oh man, those are awesome, especially against such a quality team, you know, and especially uh, because of the circumstances, right? I mean, we go down a man, and you remember, uh, you asked me a, a little while ago, what's the strat strategy, you know, and we try one formation when we went down, it didn't work. We changed in, in, in the uh, halftime, and that one really worked because he put us on counterattack mode. But uh, but it's all credit to the kids and Patrick. Patrick had some quality saves, you know, because it's all momentum, right? So if they put one goal in and feel good about it they might create another one and Patrick really made him feel like today they wouldn't score yeah and, and you mentioned the strategy when playing a man down three of the goals came a man down a really exceptional and you know any soccer match you might uh, watch um, how gratifying was that you know on those counterattacks to, to score a man down and I know some of them came on set piece opportunities yeah it changes a little bit the way we play because we normally possess and connect through the middle so we had to bypass a little bit changes the personnel so we had to play the, the runners and, and the speedsters and so we find another look maybe we can use it on certain times not that I'm going to take a player out that's not it but we can play a little more direct if necessary but uh, yeah it's gratifying and it's I'm happy for the kids because we, 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 we this program needed it right we, we're due a little little happiness <laughs> Two straight wins, a, a win at LaGrange, uh, completely different circumstances, a golden goal, and then a 5-0 win tonight against a team that was undefeated coming into this uh, match in USA South Conference play. Um, what's the key in keeping this momentum going as the season continues in USA South Conference play? Yeah, I told them not too high, not too low on your emotions. Keep it low key because there's possibilities that some teams coming towards us will not be as good as Maryville. And those are the tricky games because if you don't get up for it, if you don't put the same effort and, and I mean, you could tell in the warm up that they were focused, right? If they don't bring their A game, we're going to lose. And losing those games are as devastating as, as any other, you know? And, and so the key is keep your feet on the ground, keep your, your energy and keep your effort and keep bringing A games. Very good. Coach Eldana, congratulations on the win tonight. We'll see you down the road. See you. All right, that was Coach L. Dana after a 5-0 win by the Tornadoes over Maryville. Just to review tonight's huge win, 32nd minute, a goal by Mateos Masukawa, assisted by Jao Montero. 37th minute, a goal by Pedro Herrero, assisted by Masukawa. At that point, the Tornadoes were up 2-0. A red card against Brevard puts the Tornadoes down a man. The Tornadoes able to get to intermission down a man, still up 2-0. Then the second half, about six minutes, 45 seconds into that second half, Jao Montero sends a free kick into the goal mouth. Eric Lenhart, the defender of the Tornadoes, heads it into the back of the net, 3-0 Tornadoes. Now a man down, up 3-0. Luca Silvani in the 72nd minute puts the Tornadoes up 4-0. And then in the 81st minute, Adam Spencer, the cherry on top of the Sunday. 81st minute goal to put the Tornadoes up 5-0. A remarkable team win here at Ives Lamel Family Field. One of the biggest wins in recent Brevard College men's soccer history. Maryville entered this match 5-0 in USA South Conference play, 7-2 overall. Tornadoes improved to 2-1-2 and in USA South Conference play. Now on a two-game winning streak. And uh, a couple more stats for you. Maryville, 20 to 14, a shot advantage. 10 to 8, an advantage of shots on goal. Uh, Patrick Hall with eight saves. Uh, seven corner kicks for Mary Maryville, six for Brevard College. This game got ugly at times. 18 total fouls between the two teams. S nine yellow cards and one red card. And I'd imagine 
statisticians and officials are still sorting all that out. But a remarkable win for the Tornadoes, 5-0. And these two schools will be at it again, this time in American football on Saturday for the homecoming game at Brevard Memorial Stadium. So perhaps a budding rivalry between these two schools, Brevard and Maryville. Want to thank all who made tonight's production possible. Really appreciate everyone who worked hard behind the scenes and want to invite you to continue to follow us. Just check out bctornadoes.com. All your links to following the broadcast will be there. Thanks for joining us tonight. Once again, your final score for the final time, Brevard 5, Maryville 0.